Hi, my name is Margaret from My Call to Teach. I want to show you how I teach math in my own classroom using my own math resource solutions. I start off with an overview of my long range plans. This is available free in my store and it tells you what I need to cover for that month. When you get my digital units, my slides are numbered. For example, we just finished financial literacy in class. We would go through this on the first day, the first slideshow presentation, and we would go through this as a class. I'll go through one of these try this questions together as a class so that the students know what to do when they're working independently. These try this slides are assigned to students to work on and practice independently. The next day, and this is really important, we take up the homework together. I personally post the answer slides on Google Classroom to begin with but this is the time we go through each question as a class. This does take up a big chunk of time, but it's very important because it shows the students that I'm on top of homework, it shows accountability, and it shows students that it takes practice for progression. After we take up the homework, I give my students more practice questions. I give them these fully editable extra practice questions that pertain to the information that we just learned the day before. For example, the first slideshow presentation for grade four financial literacy is called methods of payment. The first extra practice question file is also called methods of payment. The expectation is clearly stated. The next day we take up the homework and move on to the next slide. So we alternate days, slide, worksheet, slide worksheet, and that's how we run. In terms of assessments, there are self-grading Google Forms that come with the digital units and mid-chapter quizzes and unit tests that are fully editable. You can change it to suit your classroom needs. Note that all material is in accordance to that grade's expectations. I tell you exactly when to give the mid-chapter quiz and the unit test. I leave the total blank because everyone marks differently. When you print out all the pages for the test, total everything up and you put it here. This is what you want to photocopy for everyone. All my assessment packages come with a tracker. It tells you what units you need to complete in order to cover the curriculum. When students are done a unit, they get these badges, stick it on, you collect them all and you complete the whole curriculum. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or let me know, how do you use my resource solutions in your classroom? Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.